Hager. Heather is a very dear friend, she's a fellow yoga teacher, and she is a retired nurse. And we are here to talk about her Heart Healing Yoga series. And uh, I want to say that this is almost coming on one year as the anniversary of your second open heart surgery, right? Yes. So uh, she has learned a lot in this process of healing after surgery. And that's why I approached her with the idea of putting together a yoga series that can help others recover from surgery. It doesn't have to be open heart surgery, right? It could be anything to do with the upper body. Mm -hmm. It could be shoulder mm -hmm. surgery, right? Mastectomy. Mastectomies, right? Even if you've had a port put in or maybe a pacemaker. So anything that creates trauma in your upper body. And you know what happens when trauma happens? Your body starts to constrict, right? There's mm -hmm. a lot of pain. There's a lot of tightness. And so your body's going to want to do this a lot, right? And if you do that for too long of a time, it's going to affect your breathing. It's going to affect your heart function. So all of that Heather has learned firsthand and uh, she's going to be sharing with us four different classes. It's called chair mat because there'll be two in a chair and two on a mat. So we'll talk a little bit about how this yoga process basically helped Heather in her healing process. So Heather, first of all, um, when you went through the second time, was it at all a little easier or you knew at least what you were getting yourself into? I knew what I was getting myself into. I think it was a little bit easier because I knew what to do and I knew what worked from the first time and I wasn't as shy about it. Mm -hmm. Where the first time, you know, I thought, can I really raise my, wait, better not. Oops, I feel something. Or the next time I said, yeah, I felt this before. Okay, this is getting better and better and better and it happened in quicker succession. And you know, when you get, when you achieve something like that, even in these little tiny increments, you, you feel better internally. You go, wow, I'm gonna be okay. Yeah. So. Good. Now, how do you think yoga specifically has helped you in your healing process? Um, is it the breathing? Is it the stretching? Is it the meditation? Or, you know, probably it's all, all of things, them, right? Mm -hmm. the, the breathing is essential as far as a calming and to, to get to know your true self. And th so there's a, a meditative and breathing, your prana portion of this that really um, sinks it. Without it, you're just exercising. Right. And of course the stretching is good for everybody, but to get this thoracic cavity back straightened up, no matter what age you are, it's hard after open heart uh, or mastectomy or any shoulder surgery. You want to protect it. And to a certain extent you are in the hospital in that first week out, but you just got to slowly start moving or you'll, it's really hard to do it three months down the road. Right. And I do want to say, I started when I, this time around, I started um, just sitting in the chair with very light neck and shoulder movements and thoracic movements. And then I started walking and I had to use a walker because the surgery itself was, was serious. There was serious fixing and serious damage to the whole sternum your whole rib cage is broken so I didn't have the strength to walk by myself so I was able to walk with a walker and do yoga within the walker good so that was helpful too good so we are going to be filming the series in I call it Heather's hideaway it's is it an acre lot about yeah. about an acre lot really close to the uh, San Diego coastline. It's beautiful. It's in the morning and we're just going to have a really good time. So I want Heather to talk a little bit about the structure of the four classes. I know there's two in the chair and two in the mat. Mm -hmm. so we're going to start slowly with the, our first chair after our, our chit chat will be in the chair working on neck through shoulders, through rib cage, maybe some twisting maybe some really coming up but see when i come up maybe you're going to be here thinking i can't do this yet that's okay you you got to where you needed to be that's fine just follow what feels good for you your little edge and come in a little bit from that it'll all happen and every time you do it not just watching the video but these are simple enough these just quick lessons 
to where you can do it throughout your day while you're resting a lot. And you'll find you'll, you'll slowly start regaining muscle, uh, less pain, and feel really good about yourself. Yay. Looking forward to this. We're okay. off to do the first one, so uh, hope you enjoy the series. Namaste. Good morning. I'm Heather. I'm here to work on my upper thoracic cavity, my chest, today, this morning, along with a little something something on everything. Yoga has helped me get back to where I was before my heart surgery. And I am so grateful. You're the one that does it. You just have to know a few of the little poses and most of all the breathing and the meditation to take you there. So let's get started. When I first met you guys, we did a little neck, a little opening. Did you practice? Let's see where we went. So starting with our hands either open or on our lap. Now open on our lap, you're giving the practice to everything around you and bringing in that energy. With your hands on, uh, palms down, you're saving, you're keeping this practice just for unto yourself, your energy. So however you like to do it. I like to keep my palms open to everything for an outdoor practice. So here we go. Bring in your breath and notice it. Perhaps close your eyes. And exhale it out. Inhale the energy. Exhale the stale air. And continue on. Maybe put that heart right above your forehead again and watch that heart swell. And as you exhale it out, it becomes deeper, deeper and back to its regular size. Look at that visual. I often think of it as waltzing with the breath. Maybe even giving yourself an intent for your practice. It may be something as simple as energy. or calmness. Bring your hands to your heart and open your eyes. Let's begin. Let our arms come up. We did a little bit of this first class. Now come on out and roll the wrist. Good. Go again, come up and roll the wrist down, exhale, inhale up and exhale down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. Bringing your right hand to your left knee and your left hand around to the back of the chair. Just a light twist. See where you want to go. We're going to do this a couple of times and see if it moves a little bit more and a little bit more. And come on back, round to the other side. These are just small twists. What's moving? This right here. Move it. Tummy's tucked. Now in between this, bring your hands to your knees, open up your knees, tuck your tummy in, and move down forward. Just as much as you feel you want to. You're just 
allowing your hands to slide down and eventually that lower back may stretch out. It should feel good. And come on up and let's do it again. Right hand to left knee, right arm over, over, over and down, tummy stacked. And other side, right arm comes up, left arm comes to right knee, watch it, come over, come over and down, tummy tucked. Coming around to neutral, hands on the thighs, working themselves down flat back, tummy tight, exhaling and inhaling. And come up, tummy tight. Tummy's doing all the work, bringing you up and down. How do you feel? How about a little Sufi? Let's Sufi around, warming it up a little bit more. Exhale, inhale, other direction. Another go around. Oh, to me, that's the best. You guys know that. It's one of my faves. Big breath in, exhale it out. Try another one. Breath in, exhale out. Bringing your right foot out away from your chair, knees out. Your left foot, you're turning in your chair about like this, okay? So that knee's bent and your toes are balancing you. We're gonna do a warrior two. Warrior twos have all kinds of fun lessons in them, true lessons in them. So here we go. Front foot's planted to look this way as does our arm and our other arms to the back. Our tummies are tucked and our heart is out. Warrior two. Now, I look at this as my fingers that I'm looking over is my future. It looks nice. I like it. I don't really know what it means or what's going to happen, but there it is. And my back arm, my back arm is my past, my memories. Everything that I've learned has been taught to me from this past that flows through me into my present, which is my core, my middle. So the middle's strong, the abs are holding me up, my chest is strong. And then I can drop that back memory arm and bring up the future into an exalted warrior. and then dropping that front arm and letting it glide down the leg and coming up with the other arm. Taking a peek at that arm if, if it feels okay. Now, what would be the modification? Are you ready for this? If you wanna modify, you bring that arm down, and maybe a little more in. And come up, hands come up and down. Changing to the other side is easy, just scooch around. <clears throat> Bringing that other arm out, there's your future, there's your memory, your past, tummy's tucked in.
This is a really nice time to think about the breath, to observe it. And bringing up that arm, the front arm, and dropping down the memory. There's your exalted. And bringing down that arm, coming up. How does that feel? If, it, if it's bugging you, remember, drop that shoulder down, come in, be a little more protective. You'll get there. And coming back up. Hands together in prayer and then raise them up. Sun circle, move the wrist around. Good, good. And wiggle back and forth a smidge. <coughs> Bringing your feet together once again. This time's a little bit more of a twist. We're going to bring one leg over the other like this. And I, we might have done a little bit of this in the first segment. It's really stretching out the upper, the upper chest. Now I've got my left leg over my right leg. So let's raise up my left arm and start bringing that back while I bring my right arm over the front of my left knee. Tummy's tucked and make your, make your twist as far as you want it. Remember, this is your practice. And see if you can look at the hand. Bringing it on back to neutral. We've got this knee folded over the other leg. So let's bring it out just for a second and press this out. And like we did in our first segment, we did a pigeon. Just stay right where you are and we'll make this so we don't have a lot of switching around to do. You start flowing into poses. Flexing your foot, coming down. Remember this one? You're gonna feel it in your hip. All the way down. Several breaths on this. It's a big muscle, a lot of joints and ligaments stretching and moving. Tighten your tummy muscles. Bring yourself up on an inhale. Good. Let it out. Deep breath. There you go. Try the other side. Raising up that right arm, bringing the left arm in front and doing that twist. And coming around, bringing the leg up, flexing the foot, protect the knee. On an exhale, begin your movement down. Big breaths in and out. Tighten your abs and come on up. Bring that leg down. Move around just a smidge. Getting up, using our chair to make ourselves fold into a chair position. So we're setting in the chair comfy, bringing ourselves up and into chair. Tummies in.
bringing ourselves up, up, up. Breath in and exhale out. Moving over to the chair again into, we did this the other day, the last time you saw it. We're gonna go back into chair position, um, cat cow. So we start with a table. We flatten the back, breathe, soften the knees just a smidge. They don't have to be locked. Now arc the back down and arch it up, drop the head, arc it down, bring the head up, arch it. And go ahead on your own timing, your own breath, and do a few rounds of these. Straighten the back. Move one foot up to the chair and the other foot up to the chair. Tadasana, standing pose, mountain pose. Good, 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 good. We're gonna put another new pose in today. It's called Eagle. There's all kinds of great things about Eagle. Eagle helps strengthen the immune system. But here's the challenge for us. Eagle is a real squishy pose that really squishes in and twists you around. So it may not feel ready. So here's your modifications. This is a modification. This is a modification. This or full is bringing, wrapping the arms and coming up this way. So both times that we do it, I'll do it one way one time and another time the other way so you can find out. This is our challenge today for open heart. So this particular pose is a must in healing, but it, it is a sensitive surgical issue pose, uh, whether it's a sternectomy or another type of surgery. Okay, so let's give it a try. Using your chair as your balance, just bring one foot over the other. Let's all start together with right foot over left. If you want to get real fancy, you can bring it up to here. I'm not very fancy, so I'm going to keep it right here. Now bring out your arms and hold on if you want to do that, that's fine. Now, wrap your left arm over the right arm. If you, this could be the, our modified pose, pose number one, just like this. If you don't, if you want a little bit more, you could wrap, lift the elbow up. Now bend the knee slowly and see what happens when you go forward. and come up. Bring your feet back to neutral and now bring your arms out and hold on to your wrist and lift up and down and up and down. And one more up. Let go of the wrist. Bring it down. So where were your challenges? If you have blood pressure issues, maybe a challenge was going all the way down when we bent over. Just come to your waist like that. This is fine. You're still having the effect of the pose. So this is fine without a blood pressure issue. 
Sternum still pretty sore. How about this? And coming down. You've got different ways of doing it. Practice them all. Just play it over again and decide which one you want. Going on to the other side. This time I'm gonna lift my left foot over my right. I got my chair to get my balance set up. There we go. Bringing your arms out. And this time my right will go over my left. So when you're doing this without seeing the film, just remember that it's the opposite of whatever the foot cross is. The arm is the opposite one. Come on over. If you put it into full motion, bring your elbows up. If you're using modified, just bring your elbows into each other and your hands up over your shoulders. I'm going to stay in modified. Now slowly bend the knees and tuck your tummy. I'm going to stay right here. Let your head drop. I'm at waist level. And come on up. Let the arms find the wrist. Find your neutral stand. Breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in. Out. One more time. Breathe in. This time let the arms go. Whirl your wrist around. Nice. Good job. How do you feel about that? All righty. Let's do a little bit more in the chair. Find your chair. Good. Flex and point your feet. Let's get some circulation. and whirl those ankles around. Circulation's equally important in healing. Breaths in and out. Good. Bringing your knees in. We're gonna slowly lower ourselves down if standing, this would be a forward fold, but we're not doing total forward folds yet. We're working on our, on our chest. So first, bring your shoulders back. Good. Good. Bring your arms up. Now the elbows stay down. The hands are just up. Now fold yourself over. Breath in, out. Holding your glute, your abdominal muscles in. Come on up. Arms come out. Shoulders are down and arms come back. Feet come spread out. And here's a plane. So tuck your tummy in, tuck it in. And come forward. There's your wings in the back. And come on up, bring elbows together. Nice. Let's do it one more time. Feet are apart, tummy's tucked in, back is flat, in and out. Bringing your arms out, moving your torso towards your thighs. Holding your abs, holding those wings up strong.
and moving f up. Hold onto your tummy. Hands come together, come back up again, and roll around. Breathe in and out. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch, dropping your right arm, putting your left arm up, just a stretch towards the floor. Oh. And other side. And come on back. Move any way you want to around. Bring your feet in. Take a breath in and out. Closing your eyes for your Shavasana, your meditation time. Lean back in your chair. Allow yourself to be comfortable, however that is for you to be seated. Find the breath and waltz with it. And maybe if you like that imagery of the heart above your head, or it could even be a small light. And as you inhale up, it glows. The heart glows, the light can glow. As you exhale, it contracts back down to where it was. And all that excess stale air comes out. And on your own, give yourself a minute or two of that breath. Begin moving, tapping a finger, stretching your fingers out. Maybe flexing and pointing your toes. Perhaps moving side to side with your rib cage. And coming back into the moment of yoga, back into your practice. Hands to heart. Thank you for your practice today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.